Can we add or subtract two pointers? That is the question for today. Let's find out. So to start off, uh, let's get a refresh on what it means to add an integer to a pointer. All right, so we, here we have an example where we have here a pointer and we have an array, okay? And this pointer points to the start of this array, which means it points to the first element. And here I'm just printing the value of that pointer and its uh, address, right? And what would this will print is one because, well, it's simple. We're just uh, pointing to the first element of the array, which is one. Fair enough. What if we add one to this thing? What does it mean? If we do add one, we're going to find out that result is now two, which is all right because the second element in this array would be two. All right, and if we add two to this, it would be again three. That's normal. And its address would have changed by quite a bit if we notice that, for example, let's start off, let's start back with uh, C here. We have FE 20, right? And if I start and uh, add one to it, we're going to get FE 28. So that means that every time I add one to the pointer, we actually add, well, eight uh, bytes to the address. What does that mean? Well, that means that C plus one doesn't actually mean get the address of C and add one to it. It actually means something like get the address of C and add one times size of type of C, something like this. That's what it means. And uh, in our case, type, the size of type of C is actually eight because we're using 64 bit uh, integers. Okay, so that's why we got eight in difference there. What would it mean if we would actually subtract one from this? Let's find out, let's run this. And we get a random address. <laughs> that's, that's expected because we don't have anything allocated there. So that's fine. Okay, let's try and uh, do some arithmetic now with these things. So can we, can we actually multiply with a number? Can we say C times four? Nope, the compiler complains. Okay, that means that we cannot divide. Yep, same thing. So that won't work. But we have here two other integers. So let's reference them. Let's try and reference A. If we try to print A, we're going to get the uh, result 15, which is nice. But what happens if we are going to try to add A with B? What does that even mean? Well, the compiler complains and there's nothing there. Okay. But what does it uh, happen when we subtract these two? Let's try and run this and oh, that's a crash. Okay, so nothing really happened here. So why and how and what happened? So how, why did the compiler actually leave, uh, leave us execute this code without crashing, without saying anything? Well, that's because subtracting two pointers is actually very much valid, but the way we have used it here is not valid. So what we need to do is just remove all this thing. So basically remove this printf and remove this. And let's try and say a result here and try to, try to um, store this result into an actual variable, not a pointer. Okay, and let's try and print this here and see what happens. So result is, and I'm going to say here, percent LLD, backslash N, and then we have result. Result, there we go. If I run this, you'll notice that we get one. So the value one actually got uh, saved in our result. But why? What's the reason for that? Well, to find out what we have to do actually is print out the addresses here. So let's say with address percent %p and percent %p. Percent %p stands for print out a uh, location in memory. Okay, so you might want to use this whenever you want to print out a pointer. And here we're going to print out the addresses of a and b. So if you run this, you'll notice that the result is still one, 
but the addresses are FE40 and FE38 for A and B respectively. Well, why is it one then that the difference is only two, you might ask? Well, first things first, the difference is not two, the difference is actually eight, because we are in hexadecimal here, that's what we're printing, so uh, 38 actually goes to 39, uh, 3a, 3b, 3c, and so on. So there are actually eight bytes in difference between all between these two, and it makes sense because these two are both 64-bit uh, integers. Okay, and because the difference is actually eight bytes, remember, pointer arithmetics are done at the level of the size of the type that you're working with. When we added uh, one to our 64-bit uh, array, we got 8 bytes of difference. Same thing goes for uh, subtracting. Here we got 40 minus 38, that was 8, right? So 40 minus, well, all this in here that actually cancels out, but let's say 40 minus 38 in hexadecimal, and that is 8, but it was also divided by the size of uh, the pointers we were working with. So this basically uh, tells us that subtracting two pointers is their difference in memory divided by size of their type. Okay? And this would uh, only mostly work for the same type variables. If we were to try to subtract, for example, a char, uh, let's say char c equals, for example, a, doesn't really matter, and we say, not c, d, let's say, if we say a minus d, we will get a compiler error because, well, what do you know? Invalid operands between two binaries that have different types, basically. So this only works at the level of same uh, pointer types. Okay, so that's how you can uh, subtract two pointers. Adding is not supported, unfortunately. You cannot multiply uh, pointers together and you cannot do anything of that type because at the end of the day, adding two pointers doesn't really mean anything, right? And multiplying, same thing, because we want our code to usually to run anywhere in memory, okay? Um, one more thing I want to mention here is, well, a minus B actually gives us one, right? But that's kind of weird, right? Because A was declared before B. But that's because that's simply because we are on the stack. On the stack, things are put together. First, uh, first is A, and then on top comes B. So B has a lower value than A. Therefore, A minus B is a positive number. And if you try to do this, actually, let's try this. Let's try, um, let's say, a long, long... Uh, pointer p equals m alloc of size of long long. Okay, and let's 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 uh, actually try another one here and see q. All right, and let's uh, get these addresses like that. Let's see. Let's see what is gonna uh, print out. Let's actually change this here as well. Okay, so if we try to run this you'll notice that we get a minus four here, which is basically the difference in address, right? So this one was allocated before that and it's in the heap, so it's the other way around. And it's probably four because there are four times eight, right? Because it's a long, long, so there are 32 bytes between them. And uh, in the heap, things are not put one on top of the other. There are also some links that you have to account for. So that's uh, where the extra memory comes from. The, the main point here is that um, the heap grows the other way and you can actually prove that by subtracting pointers, which is really, really cool, I think. All right, so I hope you got something out of it. Um, go ahead and uh, test this out and try, try some different uh, things that you can do with uh, subtracting the pointers. And I hope you got something out of it. Thank you and see you next time.